you to me look like that ball is going to go left. Okay? You pulled that. So your face was 3.3 degrees closed. Your swing path was in to out 3.3 degrees. Your face was closed to the target. That's why your ball started left and went left. Yeah. So if you put your right hand straight in the club where it's not underneath, that's going to affect, affect yep. the face angle and impact. I got you. If, you're, if your driver is on the ground at the address position yep. and you take it away, you have to tighten your grip pressure to, to take the driver. If you hover the driver off the ground like that a little bit, it gets you kind of feeling like you can just turn and keep constant grip pressure. Because if it's on the ground, now you have to pick it up I off the ground. There's a slog like that. And don't take, the, don't take it back with the head. Take it back with the gray. Yeah, feeling like you're pushing it back with the left hand. Yeah. Opening up the face here, and then adjusting your body. Good, like that. I know it feels weird, but you gotta get used to looking. You gotta get used to looking at a face, an open face. Yeah. And then just slide that club and return it. Pick it up just a little bit. You're hitting this part. If you hit down on the ball, it pops it up. You want to hit, create that 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 spin that way. Jeremy would have a hard time turning. And when he swung the club back, his head was almost pointing in the... He was looking at it with his right eye. His shoulders couldn't turn. Mm. So by looking at it with his left eye, really helped him get his left shoulder behind the ball in a full shoulder turn. And he incorporated that into his routine. So he walks in, he sets the club down, builds his stance, and right before he pulls the trigger, he looks at it with his left eye. And it really... He told me when we played together that that was the biggest thing that helped him. Distance and... Now I could do this perfect and be on plane, and when I come down, my face is slightly open. That's why these are so good. If I want to hit a fade, now I love this because if I try to draw, sometimes it overdraws. I, I like to swing left to where my ball is never going to go left, it's going to cut back. I feel like that would be the ball that I play all day long. So. That's what I would do. I would set something up. Motion that you would do. Yeah, so like my swing path is like always into out. Okay? So I'm going to have a tendency, as long as I get that club face close to the path, I'm going to hit a draw. But if I'm someone who overhooks it, I'm going to, and, and I swing too much into out, I'll try to work on swinging left and keeping the club face open to hit a little cut.